My name is Tim Stevenson. I'm a high school astronomy teacher in Langley, British Columbia, Canada. I've put this series together because I've heard from teachers all over the place saying, I want to teach astronomy, but I'm just not confident doing it. I just don't know the material well enough. I've never taken a course. H how do I do it? And so I'm, I'm just scared to get into it. Let me step in and try to help, okay? What I want to do is I want to give you some, some content. I want to teach you about space so that you as the teacher then can go into your classroom and wow and amaze your students. You see, I don't want to get fancy. I don't want a fancy background. I've just got a simple classroom here just to make it seem like it's something that you can do too. You see, I've always said rocket science doesn't have to be rocket science. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be fancy. Space itself is fancy enough. Let the, let, let the universe draw your students in, okay? And it will. But you just have to know a few things. And that's how I'm going to try to help you. I'm going to give you some information about the Earth and the Moon. That's where we'll start. We'll go off to the solar system. We'll look at the stars and the constellations, ultimately the galaxies, and even the universe itself, cosmology, and what we've learned about how the universe is expanding, and where's the edge, and all kinds of fascinating questions like that. So let's get started getting you ready to teach astronomy, making you feel confident and excited to teach. You see, I've learned things. I, I go, I go on online and my various sources, and I learn things. I go into the classroom and they say, hey, Mr. Stevenson, how'd you learn all this stuff? The, the information is easy to find, okay? So I'm gonna try to share with you the things that I've learned so that you can have a fun time, an exciting time teaching astronomy. All right? Okay, let's go.